Hello, friends. How are we? How are we doing? Happy Friday night. It's Friday night live. How are you? I see lots of you here. Hello, Natalie. How are you? Kari, Kelly, Carol, Sherry Lynn, Kelly. How you guys doing? I'm sure it'll be kind of quiet. Hello. I think it's just clicking in. Uh, if you watch after the fact, I'll say hello 25 times because I'm just waiting till people can hear me. But now I think everybody can hear me. I think I'm live, live, live. How you guys doing? So I'll say it again. Hi, Irene. How are you? And Kari and Donna and Julie and Natalie. I need a, a romper room mirror. <laughs> we'll have to, I'll have to bedazzle one. We'll have to whip one up so that I can uh, say hello to everybody. Hello, Lorraine. Thank you. I'm looking forward to time off, but oops, I lost it. Jess Forrester's in the house. How are you, Jess? Hello, Robin. My Robin, how are you? Hello, Val. Valerie, how are you? You'll miss all the coworkers and friends I've made over the years. Did you retire, Lorraine? Congratulations on your retirement. And I get what you're saying, that it's hard because uh, you have your like work family and then to uh, leave is tough, but it'll be a new chapter, right? New awesome things will happen. So I get feeling the feels right now, but you're gonna be awesome. Hello, Paulette, Stacy. Picked your daughter up from the airport for college winter break. I love it, I love it. See, that is the fun thing. Hi, Paula. Hello, Crescendo. How are you? Oh, my goodness. Lots of friends are here tonight. I'm a loving it. But yeah, I need a romper room mirror so I can I can see Kayla and I can see Fifi and I can see Julie and Terry. And then I'll get rich to dress in a bee costume and he can buzz around in the background. So I love it. It's 38 degrees in Australia. That's crazy, although it's pretty warm here, but windy. We've had really crazy wind. But hello, happy Friday night. So, you know, hello, Leanne, you're not really a lurker. You just like to, to uh, give me a hard time. Um, I was chatting with my friend Patty right before I was coming on live and I went really close to the mirror and I said, do you like my sweater? And then I pan down and I have pajama pants on and black socks and they're capri pajama pants on, just so you know. So if you're sitting there going, oh, Vicky gets herself together every Friday night and I'm just over here in my pajama pants. Well, guess what? So's Vicky. So, you know, you know, I will tell you all of that. Um, what was the con congrats for? What did I miss? Um, one of our friends retired. I think that's what happened. I could be totally making it up, right? Um, I love your sweater. Me too. I just bought this at Winners this week it is um tommy hill figure i think but it's blue and polka dots and it my favorite thing is polka dots in color and oh my goodness are you ready so i'm gonna i'm gonna post this and my earrings so i went to uh, get something for Devin at zara for christmas and then i have this tendency of christmas shopping one for you and one for me one for you and one for me so i bought myself these aren't they fun Oh my goodness, I love them. So yeah, I've got my party earrings on. Pajama pants, an oversized sweatshirt, and the bra is about to come off. Are you gonna pull it through your sleeve, Leanne? Love it. Um, yeah, no, I'll keep mine on. So let's share. Oh my goodness. So if you've been following along all, I don't know, the last, what, five bonus, uh, lives thrown in there. We were working on this wreath and I'm going to share it with you because look at what I finished. So let me put it closer to the camera so you can see there's a little snowman and I added some stars and then see on the um, little cluster with stars and then I sugared the candy canes and then my believe word I put some alcohol ink on, on the metal. So there is the finished project. If you guys weren't sure about it before, what are you thinking now? I love it so much. I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite projects ever. 
And I think it's because even though I use Tim Holtz stuff, but I vicified it. So I, I created something that spoke to my heart. And I have to say, I absolutely love it. So here is one of like, look at the um, body that this has by just decoupaging the tissue paper on it. So it really is fun. And then that metal word, all I did is I, I didn't even go and try to find a blending tool. <laughs> I just took paper towel and tapped some red, um, red alcohol ink. And then can you see it? I stitched the letters on, even though it's hot glued on there. Uh, I stitched the letters on with gold thread. And then I ended up painting I got to figure out because everything's backwards. One of the stars with gold glaze here. Can you see that? Because I thought the reds were not really matching everything else. So very happy with how that turned out. And it's not even super ugly from the back, <laughs> which is like crazy, right? How did you make the snow? It's all on the lives. Um, but I use, oh, and let me, let's share this. Okay. Cause this is what I noticed. What I did after the live is, do you see my snow has like a, a layer of a brighter, whiter snow. I used a golden product called fiber paste, uh, because I found that the, um, snowfall paste that I use from Tim had a lot of shrinkage after it dried. So keep that in mind. You might want two layers of that. Um, but I'll show you the paste that I use, but I put a layer of that on top and then glittered it again. And then I love that it has like a two tone, like a snowfall from a week before and then fresh snowfall on top. It's got two different shades of white, but I did find that there was a lot of shrinkage in that paste. So these are those things that you will figure out as you play. Um, but I love how this turned out like this. I'm, I'm very proud of the art that I made. And I hope that you guys are tempted to do it now that you see it finished. Adding the snow really brought it all together, right? So um, yeah, any questions? The little snow dripping from the roof tops. Yep. Eek. So I'm going to post pictures and a little video of it so you can see up close. I have to, you know, all of the little hairs from the glue gun I have to remove too. They're all over here, but hi, Diana in Australia. How are you? I love it so much. I do. I'm, I'm very happy with the outcome. And then I'm so happy with what we're going to make tonight because I thought, okay, I'm not going to reinvent the wheels, wheels, I'm not going to reinvent all of the wheels. Do you remember I said with the sheets that we made for the rainbow houses that I said, I'm going to go. And instead of like, making something new if you guys did this part even if you haven't made the houses yet i went then and just die cut trees and i die cut a little tiny tree and then a, a little bit bigger tree and we're going to make a layout out of that tonight we're going to make a, a quick slimline card my favorite um out of that and then i also did the die cut from the cut files I shared right at the beginning of the whole process. And we're going to do that tonight. And then you will also have a bonus that we can use these on Friday. So I will tell you exactly the size that I did. Cause I know a lot of you, when you go to use a cut file, will want to know exactly what I did and I'll get my ruler out and I'll share that with you. I'm not going to use these tonight, but we can color them if you want. And then they can be for Sunday, because if you didn't know, Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern time, we're having our Christmas party. It will be my last live until Christmas. I, I might pop it on on Thursday night just for like a cocktail hour where we can just chat and I can send you off to your family for a happy holiday. But uh, Sunday will be really super fun because I'm going to use, I got, it's behind me, all of my Tim Holtz together, all of my warm wishes together. And I am going to make a flip, a flip tag book, a layout and a card. We're going to do all of that. So where are the trees? Can't find them. Which trees, Pamela? And you can, there are 10 million different dyes for trees. The dye I use was from a scrapbook.com, but it's currently sold out. 
But when I went on there and just went uh, steel rule or die or tree die, there are tons. There are hero arts dies. There's a whole bunch of them. So, or you could draw the uh, trees and just cut out a simple tree pattern. You don't have to. These are very simple tree pattern. And then the white trees are on the first when we started this whole holiday um, paper houses. I had done a post where all of the product I was going to use and I linked all of the free cut files, but I will do that as well. Um, again, I'll do another uh, post with the free cut files from the very talented Nicole Noah said from just Nick's studio. So um, I will post those as well. I didn't do the houses or wreaths, so I will have to start from scratch. Should I do 12 by 12 of each color? I did six by 12 of each color, um, but you will find all of the info. Like when you guys say, cause a lot of you have followed along and watched, even if you didn't participate, right? That you, um, there's a ton of information shared. And I think that it was about five, maybe even five and a half lives to do that where I showed you every single step. So you can decide to do that. You don't even have to do it to the extent that I did. And remember we've talked, you don't have to have all of the same dyes that I, I have. You could do like a tree farm. That's the next thing that I'm gonna do. You ready? Hi Keisha, how are you? Um, I cannot draw a Christmas tree to save my life. It's like trying to draw a star, draw a triangle, literally a triangle. So you draw a rectangle, a rectangle, find the center point, attach it to the bottom corners. There's your tree pattern. That's all you need. And then you just draw the base for your um, trunk. That's what I would do. A rectangle, you find the center at the top of your line, you attach your dots. There is your long, narrow triangle. And that's what you need for a tree. Don't overthink it. It will be beautiful because the pattern is the magic. So you can have a very simplified pattern and it will work just well. Vicki, when is the release or reveal of your new collection? Which one, Don? We haven't even started Fernwood yet. And I have my whole kit behind me. Those kits are still available if you want to participate. I have been in contact with some of your husbands out there. So working with them to uh, set you guys up. But the next release after that isn't coming till April. So um, there, mine always looks wonky. Well, we'll work on it. And I'm going to show you, Keisha. It won't look wonky if you literally, that's why we're going to do, I decided. So in the new year will be a uh, gel plate two. I just have to get it together. Like my life, crazy times. And the other class I want to do is a drawing class, literally a month long drawing class where you don't need to order a kit or anything. You will just need basic tools. And I think it'll be fun. And like, I know here, it's going to happen. I don't know what it's like in the U S for you guys. Cause I've been watching the news, but I think we're heading back into lockdown with the um, Omnichrome. I don't know how you <laughs> photochrome, whatever the new variant is. Uh, our numbers are high. I know that uh, it's coming. So I think it'd be fun to do like a drawing class and stuff. That is, it's, I think it would be a lot of fun. You saw the sneak peek, but I can't talk about it. So don't share the name or anything. And that photo was terrible. I'm going to tell you that. That collection is way prettier than what that photo showed. But yes, um, I, I don't even want to talk about that. I, I don't really understand why there'd be a sneak peek when it's not even going to be in Joanne's until June. So it doesn't, right? So it's one of those, yes, it's there and definitely um, check it out, but I can't talk about it and I don't want to share it because it's like um, uh, when the photographers sneak the picture of the royal baby before they get to present the baby. So uh, we'll wait. You guys can peek at it, but I'm not talking about it until I'm allowed to talk about it, where we can do the proper whole walk through and fun reveal. And I have to take, tell you one thing. There's an album in that kit, in that release, and it has a three inch binding ring and it's freaking awesome. So super excited about that. Okay. We are heading into lockdown for sure. I think they're just going to get us past Christmas. So the stores and everything. And then actually, I think when you think about it, other than I think people will still visit their families. Um, we're going to, I don't even know. I think it has to be a month long or 
I don't know how we can get around it. So anyway, I will follow you off a cliff, but man, I can't draw to save my life. I will teach you, Catherine. You've done flowers with me, right? We've done stuff. I'm going to make it very simple, right? It's getting bad as well in Pennsylvania. Oh no, that's so sad, Don. Um, my, your nephew's school had an outbreak. Unfortunately, they won't do a lockdown here in Texas again, but this one's worse. So we'll see what happens. But I know I said, it's very hard to get them to go back, but like, I mean, we still wear masks and have lots of different mandates around here, but yes, it's going to be crazy. You are my store in Stamplicity. Are you close to me, Pamela? If Stamplicity is your store, then we must be neighbors. But um, yes, but we aren't gonna we aren't gonna to dampen the mood tonight because I am excited to have. There are a lot of you here tonight. I love it. You're going to see. We're gonna whip through some projects tonight. I'm excited, and I got, see. I got so much to talk about. I'm super wired for sound. Super excited. Guess what? I'm starting <laughs> my next collection. I have already designed the one that you got a sneak peek of, another one that's coming, and I'm working on the next one. And I put it all together. It was approved today. We are starting development, and that is what I'll be working on as well on my break. So very excited about it. I'll have to tell you about that as well, Natalie. So exciting. But I do want to, while I have everybody's undivided attention, Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern time, I am going to be crafting for a couple of hours. It's literally going to be like our little Christmas get together. I'm going to use warm wishes. I've collected a whole bunch of my Tim Holtz and I am going to do a banner style tag book. And I've already decided mine is going to be themed for my holiday decor. Cause I think that would be something I'd like to look through. So I'm going to do that based with two binder holes at the top on jump rings. So what I love about that is you can cut that. I have dies I'm going to cut it out with, but it is literally a rectangle where you cut the V out of the bottom. So we're going to do that. And then we are going to, so I'm going to post cause I'll prep. I'm going to prep a lot of it tonight. Cause I want you guys to see what it is. So it's prepped so we can get lots done. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a layout using these trees. So this is from the free cut file, but like I said, you can, um, just cut out any kind of shape of tree or you can use the ones we drew before right and then we're going to do a card as well so 2 p.m 2 p.m i'm going to go earlier yesi because uh you know we're going to be at it for a long time so 2 p.m on sunday 2 p.m eastern time and i'm going to be at it for a while i've already told rich it's a takeout night right so natalie burned her mouth on boiling soup this week so i'm replacing the coffee with caffeinated water I bet mm, that is no fun at all. You, there's a great mouthwash that you can get that is uh, at Walmart or the drugstores. I'll have to send you that. That will heal that really quickly. Um, so I have a teeny bubble. Um, yes, if you have an autoimmune disease, then you definitely are uh, going to keep it nice and tight. You've got to stay healthy, right? So yay. I just wanted to say that um, for Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern time. Um, I will post the uh, little um, save the date, you know, that pops up just like it did for tonight. I will do it tomorrow and I will put a whole list of some of the supplies I'm using so that you guys can get ready, right? Tag book episode was when I found you. I love it. So we're circling right back, Francine. So it's going to be fun. Hello, Janice. How are you? You'll be in Clinton on Sunday. Yes, I know you will. Uh, so you'll have to let me know how that goes. Just got the tree dies and Ken. Okay. Flipping the camera. Let's do the things. So let's look at the mess that Vicki already has on her desk. I will, it will be on, the only Christmas party I can attend. Well, I love it, Leanne. Make yourself your favorite Abby. It can be potluck, your own potluck. I love it. But it is just like that wreath I decided was totally for me. <laughs> I loved it. It was a bonus that I shared it with all of my crafting friends. But uh, Sunday is going to be the same dealio. We're just going to make fun things. This is the die uh, that I'm going to use. 
but I will tell you the measurement for the pages that I'm going to cut. I've got all my stuff ready and we're going to whip some stuff off tonight. I am so excited. So I went in and I cut with the nested tree dies that I hope coming back in stock because they are really awesome from a scrapbook.com. I will put a whole bunch of affiliate links up later as well. But like I said, you can use anything. You can just cut with your silhouette, your Cricut. Um, you could use flowers. It doesn't have to be trees. It can be whatever you have. All right. It does not have to be trees. But I prepped everything tonight so that it would flow and be fun. And my plan is to do a card, a layout. The layout and the card are the same design, which is really fun, right? Um, well, Marty, you know what? You're taking care of your size, yourself, my friend. Um, so I'm glad you're joining us tonight and you, uh, take care friend, right? Marty says that she, um, has cancer. So for sure she can't go around a lot of people. Definitely not because your immunity, um, must not be great, right? When you're fighting that disease. So you definitely take care of yourself, my friend. Will you be using a certain size paper for Sunday? That's what I was just saying is I will share the details of the size. Um, I am going to keep it for Sunday where all of the photo sizes are going to be squares because I think for an album, if you make a whole bunch of the things very consistent and the same, that it will make it way easier to create. So to give you an idea, do I have a ruler handy? Just a second. I put my ruler away. I was cleaning up last night. There's actually a clear space on my floor. I can't even believe it. Well, I got one ruler and dropped one on the floor. So, right, the floor was lonely. I had to throw something down there. So to give you an idea. I think my tag book is going to be about five inches by five by seven. My tags are going to be five by seven. And then all of my mats can be like four by four ish or four by five. So uh, if that helps, my tag book will be five by seven. So you can prep literally five by seven pieces and then cut the tag shape out later. So if that's helpful, um, that's what we're going to do. But look at, I even printed a photo for tonight. I was messing around with my friend Patty. And do you see, this is one of my favorite photos to take every year is the reflection in my Christmas bulbs, right? I love it. Don't know Tara, not that far ahead. All I know is it's going to be five by seven. And I don't have any clue beyond that five by seven. And then we make sure you have some cardstock and pieces for um, mats that probably will be maybe five pages because front and back, that's about 10. So let's say I won't remember any of this, but I think five, five by sevens. But then make sure you have extra paper because you're going to want to do mats and other things. But we'll talk about that later. We'll focus on of this stuff tonight so we can actually get the things done because I talk a lot. The other thing let's talk about before we go for the trees that I have here from um, Nicole's cut file. They are, this one is a six inch. So a six inch tree, a four and a half, A four, so six, four and a half, four. I don't know. And these, I think, are the same size. And then two, three inch. Okay. So I'm going to use these because these are cut out already. So six, four and a half, four, and two, three inch trees height. And then um, the cut file will just work itself out for the width. Okay, maybe in the new year, you can teach a class in the U.S. Uh, probably not in the new year. 
Um, I know that right now I have no plans for teaching in person until probably, well, until the cruise. And then I don't, I'm nervous about everything. So we'll just see how this all works out. I'll go get my booster. Hopefully that will help. But I know for us Canadians, we're, they're not going to let us go anywhere soon, right? Thanks, Natalie. Can you put, um, and that's for the trees. Those numbers are for the tree cut file for Sunday, which will be one of the bonus projects we will make. Okay, so I cut out of the leftover patterns that we made for the paper houses. So these are all the colors. I cut out rainbow again, and I thought it would be fun to do a pattern. So I went in there and cut two different sizes of trees out of all of my leftover art because otherwise I would have just thrown it in the garbage. So I love that now um, we can figure all that stuff out. I have a piece of watercolor paper, but you can use anything that you have. I just grabbed this because it was white cardstock that I had laying around and it's perfect. So we're going to do this tonight. We're going to do a quick mixed media, kind of a little bit of just some kissing technique on the back and some drips. And then we're going to do that same technique on the trees. So let's do that first. I'm going to use art crayons tonight. So you can use art crayons. You can use distress ink. You can use whatever you have. And this is going to be my plan. I'm not going to put any mixed media on my card. I'm going to keep the card super clean because look at, I love how this is going to turn out. So I already cut my card base in red and then I use this die that I had for a mat. And then I am going to layer rainbow trees. And then I have uh, the word joy die cut. So this is going to be kind of the plan for the card. Super simple super fun. So this is going to be the first thing we do after we let our um, mixed media stuff dry. I'm going to put the card together. Okay. So I have that. And then remember the gold backgrounds that we did, I cut out joy and to keep it consistent, this is what yo or yo <laughs> joy. And I did it in the silver and I did it in the gold. And this is what we are going to be using on the card. The gold is going to be on the card and on the layout. And then the silver I have for the six by eight page. But look, I love how that looks. And that was just out of that gold background that we did. And I just I cut the words. Are the cut files on the page? Julie, did you do my Christmas class? The cut files are there. And it's when I shared, I'll, I'll share it again, um, the cut files. I'll share them again for when I set the post up tonight. Because I'll set the post up and I'll put the link to the cut files again. They are not on vickyboot.com. Although I, I don't know if I can really, if I'll have time to add it there. But I will put the link to the Dropbox. Okay. Natalie, do you have those links? And I don't know if you're on Instagram or on Facebook. But uh, we could share them. We'll figure it out. So, yay! Okay, so we're going to do the mixed media. And like I said, my idea is going to be just a row of rainbow trees. My photo is going to go above it. So all I'm going to do is a little bit of a uh, kissed color in the background. And I think I'm going to go with green. Because I'm going to do green um, on the trees as well okay so let's do the things i'm going to move these out of the way i'm going to do the kissing technique on this sheet of watercolor paper that i'm going to be trimming down a little bit and i'm going to also do it on my six by eight wherever i just put that cut file and i have some stencils as well because i might stencil a little bit of pattern um here Yes, I will post them. Let me work on that while you work on this. Thank you, Natalie. You're back. You're the best. Yay. Okay. 
So I have a sheet of plastic. I have some water. And I'm going to make a quick green that I'm going to kiss on the background and just put a couple of drips. And it's going to be super simple. Vicki, do you want the cut files for the tree and the snowflake? So I bundled them together. Well, right now, um, the tree is the biggest thing because that's what I'm going to be using. So I wouldn't even make more work for yourself. Literally, just the tree is fine for now. Let's just worry about that. So thanks, Natalie. Um, so I'm just going to go in with the green. And I'm going to keep this all pretty bright. So the green art crayon. And maybe put a little bit of the darker green on there too. Just a little bit. So it's not super lime green. I forgot a paintbrush. So let me throw some water on that and grab a paintbrush. Might as well get my cup of water. And I will blend it. Hope my sheet is clean. <laughs> the plastic sheet. You never know, right? Sometimes I grab these things and you never know. And I'm just going to do a very simple kissed watercolor background. Move your sheet around so you're not putting down the exact same pattern. Like I said, this is on watercolor tonight, watercolor paper. So it will have a really fun effect with how the paint goes on the background. I am going to um, put one more application on and that's it for this background. Very subtle, pretty soft. I'm going to go in just with a darker green on what is already on. Actually, I'm, I'm lying. I'm going to put a lot of dark green, a little bit of the limey green. And then we'll set this aside to dry, blend out all the little pieces so you don't go to kiss this background and end up with uh, chunks of really dark pigment on there. Okay. Move that up a bit. Dragging some of that around. Very nice. I love that. Super subtle, super soft, put some tabs, just what's left in my brush. You know they will just get absorbed into the big pool of paint, but anywhere that's a little bit on the dry side, you will get a little bit more pigment. So I'm just going to do some that look like big drops down here, maybe up here. Very good. And we're gonna do our whole little thing of uh, trees here. So I'm not gonna overwork this. It's good enough, right? That's awesome, Don. It is trial and error. And that's why you always practice and play because you will come up with, um, you'll figure it out on your own and more than what I could teach you is what you learn just by trial and error and doing, right? What exactly does mixed media mean? I always thought it had to do to be bumpy to be considered mixed media. Not at all, Don. It literally is mixing your different media. So mixed media can literally be if you use watercolor and acrylic. It can be uh, just mixing your different media, your mediums. Um, it's even like in clothing. I'll buy clothes that will say it's mixed media. 
meaning I could have a sweater that has embroidery on it and it's considered mixed media. It's just mixing it all up, right? So I'm gonna move this, I love it. I might come in here when this layer dries and just put a couple more drips of paint on it. But if you guys can see that, super quick, fun, right? Do you have six or seven colors of cut trees, rainbow? I have yellow, orange, pink, red, purple, turquoise, blue, and green. So however many colors that was is what my trees are. So I'm going to go in and do the same thing. You're going to see this, the art crayon is going to react differently. Now this is cut out of foundations paper. And I am going to quickly, because I think it's just fun, is let's do the trees too. Right? So that when we're, we're ready to go on Sunday, um, it's done. This part will be done and we can just whip a bunch of projects out. And I love that. Okay, so I am going to put my light green down to start. You don't have to press hard with art crayons. They are highly pigmented and less is more. You always want to add in light layers to build your depth. You don't want to go in with full on color because that's what you get, full on color. So I always go on with a little bit of pigment and layer from there. Okay, so I'm just throwing a little bit of green down. I am going to stencil on this tree as well. And I'm just gonna take what's left on my mat and put a little bit on there. Drip some of that paint in. There we go. Let's put a little bit more oop, art crayon down. So I'm going to make these different shades of green. I'll start with the lightest color, but because they're gonna layer on top of each other, I don't want them all to be the same shade of green. So I put some of that on here. I'm gonna put some on one of the little ones. And a little bit on that largest tree. Okay, I'm not gonna clean the matte off. I'm just going to go in now with a darker green and add it in there and make a new color just by blending it in with the lighter green. And then I'll go in again with that color, but there'll be less of the lighter green because now I have replaced it with the darker. So just keep kind of layering these. Are art crayons similar to distress crayons? They're similar because they're both water soluble, but these are a little harder and there's more pigment in them. So they last a little bit longer. But what the magic is with distress crayon is that they will set so that you can use them on different mediums. You can use uh, distress crayons and then you can also use um, ink with them once they set, distress ink. These will always remain open like an oil pastel. So just a little different, right? Just like scribble sticks by Dina um, are water soluble, but they're different. So I own all of the different mediums, but I find that I only use my distress crayons for uh, certain techniques, but I go through a lot of crayon, right? So just, they're just different. It's just different, just like all watercolors are not created equally, right? It's watercolor, but it doesn't mean that um, it reacts the same uh, as all the watercolors. Like you can have one that's like a Crayola watercolor, and it's not going to react the same as, say, you know, a Daniel Smith watercolor. So hopefully that is helpful. Just different, similar, but not the same. <laughs> I don't have crayons. Can I use oxide inks? You sure can. Oxide or distress, anything that's water soluble. 100%. You know that uh, when you play with me, it's all inclusive. So even if you don't have them, you still can play along. I'm just using them because a lot of people that have been here for a while have them. And I haven't brought them out to play for a while. So now I've gone in with that uh, light green. 
I've gone in where this one, see, is a little bit more of a yellow green. This is way more blue green. And then let's do uh, some of this, which is kind of a little bit of a tealy green. And I'm going to mix it right in there with whatever is on my sheet. Add some pigment. And I'm going to kiss it onto the big tree. I love how this one is drying. Okay. And that's why just don't mess with sometimes just notice what's happening and leave it alone. Step away. Okay. So now I'm going to kiss this kind of turquoisey green on to the big tree. I am kissing it like it is my Nona Abuela grandma. I don't want to press down really hard. Grandma is frail, so you are not going to kiss her like you would kiss the rock. You're just going to put some pigment down because if you go in there and just squish your sheet on, you just have a blob of color. When you lightly bend your page and kiss it in little sections, you get a very pretty um, subtle effect, okay? So kiss it like it's your grandma, gently. She's frail. Uh, I'm loving this. I'm gonna go in now with this one. I'm gonna clean my sheet off for now. Actually, I'm gonna put some on my page, okay? On my um, six by eight here, because I'm really digging that color. So now I'm actually kissing it like it's the rock. I'm really pressing that down because I don't want it to be polka dots of color. I just kind of want that pigment to soak in. Love it. Okay, and see where it's pooled there? I know it's gonna go a little dark, so I'm just splatting a little water on it to soften that. And I'll move that around a bit. And I might even pick a little bit of it up. Okay, awesome. How we doing out there, friends? When they are dry, I will bring it closer to the camera as well. So see, it's buckling. That's only because it's, it's wet. When the moisture leaves here, it will go flat again. I hope some of you guys are playing. I get the feeling that some of you might be playing along tonight. And I love that. So out of the neutral set of art crayons, there is one that is quite um, uh, limey green. Okay, so I'm going to put some of that on here and I'm going to add it on this tree. Because I'm very much enjoying the colors that we have. I'm going to go in with one more layer of the um, bright green and then I'm leaving them alone. I don't think they need much more. I like the subtleness of what's happening. And when they dry, I might tap just a little bit of color on there and just leave it like that. You're working. I love it. Still making my cards. I love it, Marianne. I'm just happy you're here with me. If just listening to me keeps you company, right? Someday you are going to meet the rock and he's totally going to know uh, what you have been talking about. What, when I kiss him, Leanne? But he is married and so am I. So I, I would have to um, keep it under control, right? I just want a bottle of his tequila. That's all I'm waiting for. So see, this green is very yellow. So I'm going to make sure I float another color in here. I do love him. He's funny. I love me some of the rock. Okay, so I'm, you're going to laugh, but I'm going to go in here with a little bit of the light blue because I would think, because this is pretty yellow, that I can make a nice green out of those two colors. So let's see what we get. The link to the Christmas tree is up on Vicki Booten community page. You're the best. Thank you, Natalie. She takes very good care of us. I'm just going to float some of this in here and I'll kiss a little bit of it on too. So it ended up making kind of a um, mint green. I love it. Uh, you can kiss the rock with your mouth closed. Yes, I can. I don't know if I could keep it um, together. 
I love him. Okay, so I am going to add some more green to this and I'm going to leave these alone because I actually love that they're almost white with just a little streaking of color. It's very cool. Very cool effect. Just tapping off a little bit of that pigment because it's very dark. And what will happen is it will dry quite a bit darker. So we'll do that. I'm going to go in here with just some of this because there's not a lot of pigment on there. Actually, I'm only going to tap it on, maybe drip it on, but we'll leave these alone. Oops, I just stuck my finger in it. Love it. I'm just messing a little bit in some of those open areas, just putting another little bit of color on there. And I will totally leave these alone to just dry. And we will revisit this on Sunday. But for now, we're just going to leave it be. Very nice. Okay. Like, look at, I love that. Because this layout I already know is going to be very neutral. I'm probably going to do this on craft. It's not going to be a lot of pigment. I'm just going to kind of play with these kind of watercolor trees on a neutral background. I find it hard not to paint the trees. Well, you know what? You can, but you, you will find, um, when you do it with purpose, you might not like your outcome. So try to resist that pull and just kind of go in with a little bit of pigment. Like I did one, it's way faster and they're done already, which I love. I just threw a big chunk of art crayon on the floor. But try to resist the pull because um, I think the effect is going to be very pretty with these with just that kind of little bit of watercolor on here. I'm gonna move these behind me because I don't need them again tonight and I don't want to ruin them. So I'm just gonna move these to dry. I have stuff everywhere because I don't know what it's like in your house, but when I go to clean up, it usually means I make, oops, a bigger mess. So we have two sides to this. So I want to put some pigment on the other side as well. And I'm going to stencil. So I might, this is what I just, I just made the decision. I'm not going to, I might, I'm going to, I'm going to do. So I love, again, this is very subtle, right? Very subtle. It's pretty. You got to find me live. I love it. Little Lily, I'm very happy to have you here. Did you and your daughter get to go to the Barbie Museum? We did not because she is 18. And even though she's like, yes, I'll go with you. I just knew it was better if we didn't go because she would not enjoy that. And then she would drive me crazy. So I think if any of you out there have teenage daughters, you know exactly what I'm talking about, right? So for this one, I think I'm going to leave the front of it just that pretty watercolor, but I'm going to go on the back and I'm going to stencil. So even though like it's not clean on the back because there's some drips because I was doing the watercoloring, I am just going to go on here. It could be fun. We could stencil the pine boughs. On there that's kind of fun right I think I might do that so 
So I'm going to stencil those pine boughs on the back. Yeah, maybe one day I'll get to do that. But um, I'm not sure anyway if the Barbie Museum was, I thought it would be more where they show all, I would like it better as a Barbie toy museum where it's like a, a glimpse into my childhood. Like I would love to see the Barbies with all of the different outfits and the, the different uh, toys we played with with the Barbie. Whereas I think this one was a little bit more like the fashion of Barbie. Like it was just a room with Barbies all set up. I would love it set up as like an interactive experience. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Have you ever done any of those? Where it's almost like it's for Instagram. It's more for the photography of the whole thing. I would love that. I think somebody should do like a Barbie um, interactive thing, right? Just catching you after waking from my nap. I love it, Betty. I'm going to give my um, stencil brush one mist just so my pigment moves a little easier, almost like ink. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to stencil some of that dark green. And now I'm going to give my brush one more blast and pick up the light green but I still have the dark green on my brush so I'm getting a little different color and I'm just going to blend some of these on here just for a subtle background I'm not going to be doing anything with the back of this tonight I'm just going to do the one side, but think about it. If you're building this as a page and you want any kind of mixed media on it, you would need to do it before you start building the front of the page because it'd be kind of hard once there's stuff on here to actually get in here and put any kind of um, medium on it. So I like that. Very good. There we go. So now at least the back has a pattern. I'm going to clean that up because I'm done now with the mixed media. It was very quick tonight. I don't usually do this right on my background. I'll have to get my hand sanitizer out because it is not wiping off. I normally would put down another craft mat, but it's all good. Love that stencil. Me too. It's a fun one, right? Well, you can't be too tick chicken to try. You need to try. Because here's the fun thing is a lot of what we do is actually pretty um, user friendly, meaning that uh, you're not up set up to fail. I really feel like the kissing technique, your biggest thing that you'll learn is your ratio of pigment to water to get the effect that you want. You have to make sure you don't um, use too much pigment and too little water or vice versa. It's just kind of finding that um, little spot in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna have a quick drink. I had the Barbie three-story apartment with the elevator. Me too, Catherine. I love that thing. Yeah, it's only paper. I agree. You know, that's my mantra, right? Don't be scared. It's just a piece of paper and your time. And you learn more from making mistakes anyway, right? So I have my rainbow trees that I cut out of my leftover paper from the Paper Village. And I have yellow, orange, pink, red, purple, blue, turquoise, and this minty green. I cut out a piece to use as the base, which I'm going to put down on the card. I was thinking I might pop it up. It is very warpy. I have to say that um, those Gemini plates warp really fast, don't they? And I know that Jennifer McGuire just posted that um, video on how to uh, straighten your plates out just by heating them with pressure. So I'm going to have to do that. But I find it a little annoying 
how quickly they warp. And the other thing that I found is that they also, I have, I got, let me find scrapbook.com. I have this foam tape. It's probably way easier to save these. I need them on some of my trees anyway. It's going to be on the orange one. And it's going to be on the red one. So it's just easier to do that. I'll use the tape. Right, Karen? And so what I find is that as well is there's so much pressure with that machine, which I love but it will leave impressions in your paper when you cut it. So I'm sure that you smart card makers have tricks for that, that I'm going to have to figure out because I find it um, really hard, right? Is the pine bough stencil one of yours? Yes, it is. It is in the warm wishes. Let me put that down. So yeah, it's a little on the frustrating side, I'd have to say, is um, that I put things through and then it leaves the impression on my die. I don't know if both sides of that are supposed to lift. I would say no. Okay. I'm going to put that down with a um, little raised bit and then we'll put the trees on time on top. Yeah. The mixed media, you know, uh, if you've been following me for a while, my mantra is it's art for everyone because I don't think it needs to be difficult and out of um, reach that everyone can do uh, artful techniques just with a little bit of practice and bravery, right? Just give it a shot. It's just your time and a piece of paper. Vicki, how are you doing with getting to know your Cricut machine? I haven't heard you talk about it lately. I haven't had time to do anything, although it's my brother's 60th birthday on Tuesday and I am going to make him a t-shirt so I will be pulling it out with my vinyl I have to stand up I can't um, sit and put that on centered so I am going to be making him a t-shirt I downloaded the SVG file that I bought on Etsy and I'm going to make him a uh, beer mug and a t-shirt. A uh, Teflon bone folder may help get rid of the indentations. I don't think so, Phyllis. It is all of the pattern that's on the cut plate. So every tree, everything, you can feel it right here on this white. Like it, all of the cut file pattern, because the pressure is so awesome with the um, Gemini that I need clean plates for some of it. I don't know what the answer is. I'm sure there is an answer. I'm sure somebody has figured it out and I'm just gonna have to watch what they did because like I said, very annoying. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm laying out my colors and I'm going to pop some up and then some will be flat. So every other is going to be layered on top and popped up, right? So I will place it and then decide what's going where. Blue. I don't think I'm gonna use the turquoise one. I kind of like the spacing a little bit more. So I might skip the turquoise. Oh, I don't know if I can though. Can I? Yeah. One, 
two, three, four in those ones. So red will be kind of centered on my card. The red one I'm going to place first, and then I will fill in from there. So it's eight and a half, so four and a quarter. I'm going to put the red one down and then fill in from there. One plate for cutting only and one plate on the top of the paper to use for the cutting, which I normally do. Um, but the impression of the die gets pressed in on the top plate, right? Thanks, Karen. The, the die still leaves an impression on that top plate. Do you have a Gemini? Cause that's what I, it is like super power. Um, how the pressure that it will apply is super power impression. So what ends up happening is that even though your cutting plate, your dies are facing down, it still will leave the impression of the top of the die on the cutting plate. It's just craziness, right? Um, so that would be blue and green on the end. So let's just figure this out because I'm not exactly sure yet. First spacing. But if I space the three that are going flat, right? Is it three going flat? Oh, the raised ones. I can't. It will be this guy. And what other one will be raised that's flat? And that's flat and the blue is raised. It's fun, isn't it? Uh, with the rainbow trees. Your, your big shot does that too. Yeah. I have one also and a metal plate and it cut the imprint on it. Totally. Right. I think you have to read, uh, replace the plates all the time. Yeah, it is uh, crazy. Like I said, I love the amount of pressure because it is definitely a huge bonus, but uh, the amount of pressure is crazy on that machine. Uh, there you are. So I have to stand up when you're lining things up, right? It makes it a little tough. So I'm going to put this guy down. And the yellow guy down. So this is the card. And then we are going to make, like I said, I might be here for a while. You can either watch the whole thing or watch the... Um, it on replay after because I know some of you have worked all week and you are tired so sometimes it is tough to watch when I'm on here for a long time but I felt like playing tonight so I will probably be here for a little while because of course most people would come on and do one project and Vicky's going to come on and do three because I am crazy like that. I'm not going to press this one down, down, though, until I get the this one on so I can figure out spacing. Very fun and very simple and just literally using your scraps. 
which, you know, is kind of magic. If you've done all of the work to make the mixed media backgrounds and then you can get multiple projects out of it. I love that. Whatever we can do, right, to extend the um, work or get the most out of the work. I have to fix this because it is me. It all has to line up. over a little bit further how we doing friends do you give your cards to your family not yet Karen because really I'm pretty new card maker right I don't have a ton of cards yet and now so when you guys first started your card making did you find that you had a hard time giving some away because you like I'm like until I have chance to make a new one like, I feel like I need to make two of all of my cards and some of them I want to keep because I just kind of like to have a library of creations. So there, you just got the answer, Karen, that I'm having a hard time giving some of it up, right? Some people would appreciate, but do you ever find like, you know, the people who you would give a handmade card to and you know the people that you would go and buy one? Because some people really appreciate it. And some people would be like, oh my goodness, they made me a card. Like you didn't want to spend on Hallmark. Like there are people like that out there, right? So now let's decide for this. So yes, I do and intend to, as I keep making them, I would like to give them out and share them. But I haven't really made enough yet. So look at friends, should I put my word on just the popped up ones like that what do we think kind of like that and i could pop those letters up do we like that or should i stack it on the bottom pop it all up closer together down here what do we think oh, i kind of like that what do you think Option one or option two? Take a picture and put them in a file system. That's a great idea. I like that. Sometimes I want to keep my cards. I'm selective who gets them. You like it on the bottom? Me too. I kind of like my little wooded area and then just the joy down here. I agree. I agree. I concur. So I'm going to just glue the O. on there look at everybody agreed no one said the other way so I guess it is meant to be there and then let's glue the top of the J and put a piece of foam Scissors, scissors on the bottom. I need to stand up again. I keep sitting down, but are you like that? Like I can't center anything if I'm not standing above it where I can look at it. And we will pop up the Y. Very good, friends. So there, I have made a card. The only thing that we could add, and what do you think about this? If I got a, let me see if I have one. I'll show you what I'm thinking. But only if it's really tiny. Just a second. See, it's problematic because I don't know where all of my paper punches are. 
I have them in different spots. But I thought it would be fun to put stars at the top of my trees. What do you think? Gold star. I think, no, Vicki. I just see. I just changed my mind. I actually like the simplicity of this. I don't think it needs anything else. You could do more, but sometimes simple is the way to go, right? Because really it's not simple. When you look at all the texture, right, with all of the mixed media on here, what, Mitch has a good idea? What was the good idea? I missed it. But I think I'm just going to leave it, right? Or only one on the, yeah, maybe. But I think I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to just enjoy this pretty simple rainbow card. There's one card. Look at that. Right? And there's so much texture on the joy that uh, I think that's super pretty. I am very happy with that. But we could, if we wanted, I also have these. Tim Holtz stars. So this could be an option as well. Look at. Ooh, maybe that would be fun, friends. Maybe a little bit bigger though. That size. See, I could do that, which I will do later if I'm going to do it. Um, just to let the glue dry. What do we think? Do you like the stars? Or I could put them just on the three popped up trees. What do we think? And I can make these gold. I could put a little bit of, uh, but I like the mix. I like the mix of the... Um, clear crystals with the gold. Boop. So I could do that. I'll decide. So that gives you another option though. And I might end up putting those on there because I definitely have enough of them. I think I have bought a lot of these stars, but I like it. If I'm going to do it, I think it would be on all of them. So it's an option, but like I said, I kind of like the simplicity of this card without it. Ooh, look at, we could just do this. Look. I like that. What do you guys think? And then just put the star in the middle of joy. I like that. One star in the, oh, oh my goodness. I didn't even see yours, Janice. And then look at, I did that and went, I agree. That's what's happening. Start in the middle of the O. Great minds think alike. I didn't even read your comment. And then look at, I did it. And I'm like, that's my favorite. That's it. Right there. I like it. Okay. So there, card finished. Let's move on to the next thing. Very simple. Using our scraps. Love it. Done. Let's do the layout. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. I love that. I love making cards. And here's a funny thing is I never thought the um, slimline cards, I didn't even think that would be my thing. And then you know why I love them? Because you can get a lot of stuff on them. And I think that is my jam. I like that I can get a lot of stuff on them. So I am just trying to flatten this out a little bit. I would normally go and grab my mink and run it through, but we're good. So we can decide. I think my plan was to mount this on the green background. I'm totally going to do that. So I am going to trim off on all four sides. I like to do that so my artwork is centered. I'm going to trim a quarter inch off of all the sides oh look at and then it frayed the edges because it is 
fibrous watercolor paper. And I think I might kind of dig that. So yes, friends, I started this week working on my next collection. Isn't that crazy? So I am working on the third collection. There are two out there that you guys have not seen yet. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy. Have to say goodnight. My brain is so fried after this crazy busy week. We'll see you later, Karen. Have a good sleep. Permit. If you place a simple scrap of printer paper beneath the scratch plate, no cuts are left. Thank you. Thank you, Mitch. I will do that for sure. I was thinking I needed to put some kind of buffer in there. So um, thank you very much. I will try that. So we will decide if I want to sand the edges or leave them. I kind of like the frayed edges. It's all over my blue polka dot shirt too. So when I turn the camera around later, you're going to think I have really bad dry skin. But it's not. It's the watercolor paper, right? I don't know if it's as being a busy bee or it's just crazy town, but it is definitely what's been going on around here. Okay, so I'm going to attach this and that's my base. I am just going to leave those frayed edges for the most part. I'm going to pick some of it off. It's only because this paper, right, is pressed little fibers of paper. So you get those kind of little roughy edges that looks like lint. So who's still out here, friends? Some of you, I think, are hanging out, but being quiet. Is anybody crafting with me tonight? Even if you're working on a different project, are you making something tonight? Is anybody out there wrapping Christmas presents? Because that is my next task is I need to start wrapping because our I, I was reading on scrapbooking cards today had posted our no scrapbook.com had posted are you a wrapper or unwrapped gifts and I was shocked at how many people don't wrap their gifts like I thought oh my goodness this post could be like inflammatory because <laughs> I wrap everything right down to the stocking I like to prolong Christmas morning as long as we can and I am crazy because they aren't allowed to just start ripping presents open they have to do their stockings together the kids Rich and I don't do my mother oops my mother I have to watch because see what ends up happening with uh, watercolor paper is sometimes it's hard to get your tape runner on it we go eek see I go and press it forward and then pull back and then I find you get it to stick a little bit better. Forward and then pull back. And it doesn't lift. Um, hello, Kathy. How are you? Kathy, guess what came yesterday? My email, my mail for my US address. So I owe you a big thank you. So excited. Thank you, my friend. I love the jean jacket. I have um, a couple of somebody and i have to look sent me an amazing gift that i have to send a thank you out for it too today i was very spoiled this week some beautiful christmas cards came in the mail and i want to make sure i share those because you guys make some beautiful art karen if she's still here beautiful christmas card i love it my friend bertha 
uh, Angie sent me Christmas, gave me a Christmas card. Actually, we saw each other. I have to go check them all out there. Okay, that's the base of my layout. I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Very, very, very excited. In our house, we eat breakfast before opening anything. Oh my goodness, is that torture? <laughs> is that torture? Or the kids are just used to it, right? I'm wrapping gifts while listening to you and taking notes on what's happening in class. I love it. Your room looks like a bomb went off in it. Yeah, it's a crazy time. So my idea for this one here is I cut two of every color and I want to do pretty much the same thing that we did on the card. I want to do a row of trees. Decide if there's I pink in here too, if I'm going to use pink. Pink. And then I can throw a purple. And blue. And turquoise doesn't look, but I could put turquoise if I don't want the green. I might do that. I might do turquoise. So the other thing that I think could be fun here is what I was thinking is on the trees that are on top. So there's the pink, the, per the pink, where's the second pink? Pink and blue is I'm going to take these and I am going to score through the center of the tree. Oh, I just need to make a mark where that's gonna be on the bottom. So what I think would be fun is for what's on the top is to fold this tree so it's slightly lifted. And then the these trees could have a second layer that I pop up, right? Glue down the center and then pop that up on the top, okay? So can you see that? It will be, it will attach to the bottom, but then I'll pop it up so it has some dimension. I love it. I love it. I think it is a good choice was thinking it'd be fun and now I know that it will stitch it I could but I'm not going to grab my sewing machine out um but maybe I'll do that after right I don't want to do it live but I could totally do it after I think that'd be fun um I wish that I could buy I'm trying to find my um glue Where's my connect glue? I cleaned up, right? So, oh, there it is. Is that what it's like in your house? I cleaned up, so now I can't find anything. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a little bead of glue just on that area. And then we will center it on the bottom tree. I have a song in my head that I don't know why it's in there. That Cover Me in Sunshine song. Cover me in sunshine. I don't even know why that song would be in my head. I don't think I've heard it anytime recently. So I will set that aside to dry. We'll do the pink one 
and the orange one. I am loving this already, you know, and it's fun sometimes to find your, your jam, right? Your jam doesn't have to be, if traditional holiday isn't your thing and you love a ton of color, then go with a ton of color, right? You don't have to do what everybody else is doing. I love pink. So do I. I really do love it. I love all the colors, I have to say. And I'm really warming up to purple, which if you've followed me for a while, you would know that purple wasn't necessarily my favorite. But I am definitely liking it now. My adult son is taking me out tomorrow to help me shop. Should be fun. I really dislike shopping alone. Well, that will be fun just for the company. I love to shop. I am a pro shopper. I was talking um, to some friends and that's what I said that uh, if you ever have something you need to find and you're having a hard time locating it, I can find it. I am very good at shopping, gift giving kind of thing. It's my jam. I love, love, love to give gifts. Like when we talk about, you know, you have those dreams of like, if you ever win a lottery, my biggest part of winning the lottery is what I would buy for everybody, right? Inky Quill says purple is the Voldemort of the scrapbooking world. Um, it is not, um, when you go to do a collection, purple and yellow are two colors that they don't love which i'm always like i think you're wrong with the yellow but i get the purple because purple is for some people a love or hate but um yes it is when i'm designing my collections and even for the years of designing that i've done is the feedback from manufacturers are, is purple doesn't sell purple doesn't sell so, but what is the Pantone color this year is definitely a purple. So, you know, maybe it's coming back. Maybe there will be a resurgence. I would like to know who determines those Pantone colors though. Like who decides that that needs to be Pantone, I guess. But I'm like, who on their team decides that this is the color that's, this is the it color this year. Okay, so I'm just, this this glue, this connect glue from Gina K, oh, it sets up fast. It's very nice. It is a nice wet adhesive to work with. Love it. So in our little tree forest, that is going to work well. I also had cut, and I'll decide if I want to use it. I had this little silver piece that I was thinking might go underneath the base of my trees just because it's fun. So I will decide if I want to do that. Just kind of gives you an idea of what's going on here. And then the photo that I cut for here, if I'm going to use it, I don't, I'm not committing 100% this photo, but at least we have a photo for placement. right? Because I will take a better one. That one is bedhead, no makeup, very scary looking Vicky in there. <laughs> I don't want this. I don't think I want anything. I think I, again, am going to go pretty simple, just like we did with the card. I might mat my photo. Let's see if in warm wishes, I have a color I like that will work with this. It looks like trees on a road. Yes, I love that, right, Nat? It's fun. I need something like this, which is one of Patty's favorite. I like that because I don't want to really mess with a lot of color here, right? I'm kind of loving the kind of tone on tone. So my photo is a five by four. So I'm going to cut my mat slightly larger. 
I like the photo colors with the layout as well. I just will retake the picture with a little bit of makeup on. And I'll comb my hair for the next one. That is the plan. I will comb my hair so I'm not scaring myself when I look at it. Right? Not scaring myself when I look at it. And I don't want to cover up all my mixed media either. So let's say this is going to be the photo mat. Digging it. Can pop it up. And then the idea here is that we have our little row of trees that aren't placed perfectly just yet. And then I have some I'm going to definitely sew on this because the watercolor paper is buckling. But we'll figure it out. And what my idea was, still joy, right? We still have joy, which I'm acting joyful in that picture, so it's kind of fun. And then what I want to do is find like Christmas or holiday joy, I think would be fun. So we know on this one, there's Christmas. Hi, Sarah. Just got Warm Wishes collection in today and haven't been able to play at all today. Christmas chores are really cutting in your crafting time, right? That is true fact sometimes when, especially this time of year, is busy, busy. So what my idea was, the stickers are nice and sticky, is that when I'm ready, I want that Christmas joy. And I'm going to commit my title because I can build up around from that. So we will put down Christmas. And I'm going to pop Joy up. It is busy time of year. And I find, especially if you're the one who makes Christmas magical at your house. And I am definitely the one doing the Christmas magicking. That, that's what I said is I will, my husband always, it would be like, I'll help you with the wrapping. And I would do a lot of it on Christmas Eve. Like we put the kids to bed and I would do a lot of it on Christmas Eve and he'd end up going to sleep and I would be up very late <laughs> prepping it and making it all magical for the morning. And, um, that's what I was saying something to like, now that the kids are older, I'm like, I am totally okay if you surprise me with something. It's kind of nice to get some of the magic um, done for me. You know what I mean? I will take that. I had it though forever. My mother definitely Christmas was magical in my house. Did you have magical Christmases? What is your memory of your favorite Christmas gift or holiday gift or if you don't celebrate Christmas birthday gift it can be but just that memory of the best surprise gift I am very curious what if you remember like your favorite thing I loved my Barbie camper van the big yellow camper. That was one of the best. Just going to put this down. And then we can build from the bottom up. Just 
just a sec here. I changed my mind, but because this paper is so fibrous, if I move anything once it's down, I have to put the adhesive back on because it's not going to stick. Christmas joy. Oh, that actually looks fun. Do you notice something that's happening here? Is when I moved it, I could put them instead of in a row where they go from up. I kind of like that. What do you guys think? Do you see where... Um, making it instead of straight on it's kind of fun like that what do you guys think journaling do you like it straight or it is kind of a happy accident right i didn't plan it but kind of digging it when it kind of goes in that wave. What do we think? Yes, you like the angle. Um, I like the trees this way. I kind of like that too. And I think it will let me, um, I can add some more embellishment, but I'm kind of digging that. And then, you know what? And I'm not going to be so vain. And I'm just going to go with the picture where I look like <laughs> Freddy Krueger. I'm just going to go with the picture where I'm not looking my best. Totally digging that. There we go. I will have to lift the H up to put it over top of that, but I like it. Let's go for it. We'll have to stitch on here because it's so buckly. You got a blow dryer in grade seven. They were just invented. I love it. Swishy wave. You like that? Uh, doo -doo. My parents took my mom's diamond and added two more for a ring, best gift ever. I love that. Your baby blue princess phone. I love it. Very nice. Well, Irene, are you out there crafting? Cause you're always making with me. So I am curious if you are crafting tonight. So what I'm doing is trying to now where the base of the tree hits on the, um, what is this called? The trunk. And I'm doing that all the way and that's making spacing very easy. And I'm still going to pop these up too for a little bit of dimension because I find that magical. So I know this one is already where it needs to be. I'm going to tack that down. And then we'll put this one on here. 
thanks for sticking around. I know some of you are dropping like flies because it is quarter to 10. But this gives you pretty much the gist of, I'm going to add a few more pieces, but I'm going to leave it pretty simple. I will put some journaling and then I will post and share with you on Sunday exactly what it looks like when it's done. And then I also want to give it that lift. That is there. We will commit our mat. I have to lift our H. Let's see. And then I will position so I know these fit, right? So right there. And that's going to go down here. Very good. Ay, ay, ay. It is very hard sometimes to glue on your watercolor paper. Right, so go forward and then backwards. I probably lost some of the tackiness on my thickers. So I just put a little bit of adhesive on there. Ooh. There we go. Straighten that guy out. Put our pink on here. How are we doing? Yeah, I kind of love the wave, um, which is not normally. I would probably be more uh, along the straight line idea, but I'm digging it. And it was a happy accident. It's only because I kind of shifted everything to put my letters down and then went, oh, kind of like that. There we go. I popped up the corners of the photo and the corners of the mat. Now let's make sure this one is lined up. So the stem and the stem trunk. It's not a stem on a tree, ding dong. Ding dong, Vicky. So forward and back, forward and back. Very good. So I hope if you join me on Sunday that you have some time to craft. That's what I'm doing, getting all of my work and everything I need to do done tomorrow so that I can spend Sunday afternoon with you guys to send off our holiday crafting. And then what my plan is, is that I will visit with you on the 27th, even if it's just a little half hour, um, little hot toddy. I'm going to make a peach bellini or something. And I'm going to sit and chat with you guys. And then I will come back for sure probably on New Year's Eve, because we're not going anywhere. I I think that you're going to find here that everything's going to be in some kind of lockdown status. Um, I just want to come in and say hello. 
see how you guys are doing. Look at so there. I love it. And now let's figure out what we want to finish this up with. So one of the things too, let's look. I had some of these like this could be fun. But I can, oh, there's one more. And then remember those stars that we had? Oh, Vicki, what are you doing? Opening them the wrong way. something like that these are the centers out of my O's but you could punch it with a circle punch a newsletter has not gone out Tina because this girl Vicki Booten never stops working so um, I want to send a newsletter out so I can update everybody on Fernwood because here's the plus is the um, six by eight pads will be arriving at my U.S. address and shipping next week. So as soon as I feel like it's safe to actually ship the stuff out with the Christmas rush, um, I'm totally going to be getting those out in the mail. So I'm going to put that little chipboard piece there. And what other things could we embellish with? Is there a little subtitle? Christmas joy, holiday fun. That's fun. This makes me happy. I like that. Photo opportunity. That is a good one. So I'm going to put photo opportunity that ties the red in. Christmas joy, photo opportunity. Right down here on the bottom. And then I know I'm going to bling around my title with something. I feel like that needs something around that title. And a little subtitle in there. And then some journal strips. And I feel like this layout doesn't le need a lot more. We could put some little things up in this corner if we wanted to. I had this. No, I think it's a lot. It's too bright. I don't want all that. Sometimes simple is the way to go, don't you think? A couple journal strips, a little title up on here, photo opportunity, Christmas joy. I could put some kind of um, embellishment in the middle. Oh, let's look. I don't mind that. No, too much. I like it, but not on this one. Not on this page. Um, I like the simplicity. Me too. And I am thinking that just down here, I think a little few stamped snowflakes would be fun. Yes, watch. Watch. Just give me a second. That's exactly what we need to do. Here we go. I'm going to find a stamp. We just need stars. Stars or snowflakes. Baby, baby. Here we go. Here we go now. Here we go now. I just need the gold ink to find where I put it because remember I cleaned up but I have a brand new one where did I put my gold ink from 
scrapbook.com. I have a new one. I guess I'll have to open a new one because I don't know where my gold ink is. I have gold and I have silver. I'll just open a new one. Oh, no, it's not a new one. I'm just crazy. Look it. And I'm going to use the snowflakes. And watch, because I can always already see it in my head. This is going to totally tie this page together. So I am going to stamp some snowflakes here, here, and right here. So it's going to go up this page. So you can see what this will look like. They're very subtle little gold snowflakes. They are so subtle, you can't even see them. So we won't go with gold because I could emboss them, but let's pick a color. I'm going to go with one of the blues. I think I'm going to stamp in this turquoisey color. That's what we'll do instead because you can't see it. So that's me dropping all of the things. I don't know if tumbled glass might be too light. Let's try it. That is about as clean as I'm going to get that. Oh, you know why that showed up so well? That's a piece of photo paper. No wonder. I'm like, why did it show up so well on there and not on what I'm doing? It's because it was photo paper. Yes, I like it. So let's try it. I'm going to start with these light blue snowflakes and I'll go in with a second color. Okay, we will go in now with a darker blue. So that was tumbled glass. And now I'm gonna go in with some salty ocean because it's the same as that blue. I have a smaller snowflake as well to fill in. In one more shade of blue. That is an in between of these two. We'll go with broken china. And I also have a little star that I can fill in as well.
Very good. And we'll go in with the start. You couldn't hear me because phone died. And uh, guess what? With phone being dead, the speaker went. So uh, let's just see. I don't know if I can get it back in here, but I'll try. Okay. Let me lift this up so you're not looking at my belly button. Let's see if I can get it back. I think I should be able to, but I'm good now, right? You can hear me now because I turned the mic on on the computer. So let's see if I can get it back in. I should be able to. Hi. You can hear, you couldn't hear me for a second, right? But that was some craziness that just happened. Allow. Okay, I'm gonna mute this, so just give me a sec. Uh, two of me. So let me hook this back up. For... Oh, goodness. Thank goodness I could fix that. Okay. Now you got me in split screen. But let's go back to this. And then I'll fix this. Oh, I'm glad I was able to resurrect that, right? That would have been really, really bad. That would have been really, really bad. But everything was right here. So it's good. So let's finish this baby up because this is close. And then we're going to do that page because I told you we're going to. So we're going to finish the things. Do, 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 do. Oops, look at I just got ink on there. Very good. Okay, so there we go. What I did, I will put the stars on after, but now by adding a little bit of snowflakes and then my journal strips will go here to give you an idea. What that will look like. They're not written, but you get what I'm saying, right? So it's part of the design. Be just where I could type these up or hand print them. Journaling there with the stars. 
and I might still add something in here that's dimensional, like maybe some enamel dots or something, but I like it, right? Simple. If you don't like the stamping, don't have to put it on there, right? But I just felt like it needed one more layer of something. And I'm not 100% done. I know it needs something else, so I'm going to add it. Something will go in the middle of this. A heart would be cute. Do I have a little one? Left for my chipboard pieces. Let me look. Because this is only, there's only a couple in here. Because this was left over from the class. Oh, this could be fun too. Some of the heart stars from, oh, look at, maybe even. I have a star for now, but you see what I'm saying? I could put a heart in there. And then I'm going to end up putting something else. Like I feel like maybe just some little enamel dots. Like I feel like it needs something else around here. I would like to take one of those stars away too. So I'll end up putting something on it. But maybe some enamel dots or something to finish it off. But there, that one is done. And I'll tell you something, you know how I put all these trees on an angle. I don't know if that's my thing. <laughs> Remember I said, this is not normally what I would do. I might end up coming in here and even putting them a little bit more wonky. Like maybe this one up higher and down lower. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I don't know if I like that exact angle dealio going on. So let's peek at it because we're allowed to come back and change our mind, right? That it might make me a little happier to not have them in that perfect little wonky row. Like, look at, do you see that already? See what I'm saying? Like, I think that's going to be more my jam to not have them all like that. So I don't know, I will play around with it, but I almost like this. I almost like it, but I do like that better. Even just that kind of more of a wave instead of just that perfect row. I actually like that. Don't know about these yet. Let's see, let's take them off. I like that better. So there's no stars going on that, but I might end up putting some stars up through there. Let's see, see, stuff just came together there. You like, I like that better, don't you, Don? Yeah, I like that better. I like that better. I was not digging that angly business. Wasn't digging it. And then I have to find some more chipboard. But that gives you kind of an idea, right? Ryla must be going somewhere. I hear him leaving. They used to come down and tell me, but they do not anymore. Just told his dad. I heard him say, I'll see you in the morning. So he's leaving for the night. So what do you think? Just those little stars around there? I don't mind that. And now we're going to walk away from the page. I like it, but this is going to require me. Well, one, I have to sew it because that's, this is driving me crazy. Um, but I will come back and look at some of these things because, but I do like the wave better. So let's step away from that. Love my card. Not sure on the layout just yet. And that's when it's time to step away and work on that because to me, it should be really cute with those rainbow trees. It just might require a little work, but I do love the card. 
love this very much so set that aside come back and work on that and then we have our page but you could put a few rows of stitches and waves yeah i might like that take some of the elements off and then i like that stitch underneath it oh that might be nice tina yeah i love that so i will um play with that it's almost there and now we have a little page that is meant to go in my six by eight album right so it would be a die cut page that could go right in your album so i'm going to punch the holes first so we know exactly where our elements are going to go let's do that but this is so jam-packed because what's funny is this christmas album the binding holes are not three inch but with my next collection, the album has three inch holes. And um, hopefully if I get to do any albums moving forward, they will all have the three inch binding holes because I really do think it makes a difference. So I'm just going to use this as a guide because I know these holes will work. So whatever album you were putting it in or however you're going to use it, just punch your holes. But if you are doing December daily or documenting December, I'm going to have to use a different page because I can't get around the thicker letter. Then you could totally add this to your documenting December, December daily. If you use a traveler's notebook like my friend, Natalie does. This die cut page could totally go in there. So I love this album. Makes me so happy. What's the difference, Vic? Uh, which difference, Alana? Difference between what? What did I miss? I see journaling on the tree. Yeah, I'm going to do some stuff. I just, it has to be, you know, sometimes like one, I'm working on the fly. I had zero plan of what I would create. So um, sometimes you got to walk away from it, right? And I know now, like, I need to walk away from that. And I will come back and finish that. This is going to be pretty simple. My idea was a little photo that would just kind of go on the edge. I have joy in silver, which is going to end up going on here somehow. I will decide whatever that's going to be. But then I wanted to take my circle punch and add some gold dots on this page. You didn't finish, but you will, right? It'll be there for you to finish when you're ready. When you are ready to come back to it. So I wanted to put little polka dots on here from our leftover gold background. Oop, that one did not make it. It's on the floor. like ornaments, right? And then could do a star or something at the top. Like sometimes, again, the art is what speaks to us. We don't have to do a ton to make a page interesting. Did I catch that? Yep. One more. And I'm going to pop them up, at least some of them.
Are you off, Bernadette? We'll see you later, my friend. I'm almost done. I am just going to finish this one here. And we know Joy is going to go here. And again, if I can find a little subtitle, I will. I'm going to pop up the O. I picked that up and I lost it. What size did you cut the tree? It is eight inches tall. So when you're sizing your cut file, eight inches tall, and then whatever you get as your width, just go with that. That's all I sized was to eight inches tall. So I knew it would fit in the album. But you could make your own kind of tag album and you don't have to punch the holes on here. Just wherever your binding um, would go. Right? So the idea. I just move that down a bit. I need to move it up a bit more. Go. Joy. that and we could put a little word across the O which could be fun let's see what I have here joy um, decorating Christmas list whatever your word would be like when you do your photo holiday fun that could be cool let's see I like that. So I'm going to put that on there. All right. Joy, holiday, fun. On there like that. So I will commit. See, sometimes they can be simple, super simple. They don't have to be elaborate, especially I find when you use mixed media that a lot of the awesome on your page is from the artful portion. And then all you're doing then is embellishing it. I'm going to put another gold here and probably one there. Here. Maybe there, underneath this corner. And I think they'll be both flat. Got my warm wishes kit today. Yay! I think wonky would be better. Wonky what? A little bit on here. See you later, Dawn. Good night. We'll see you Sunday, hopefully. I'm almost done here tonight. Perfect. What's fun is holiday fun. The banner is like the outline of this is gold. 
So that is gold and it's cute. If you want, you totally could put a star at the top of your tree, right? Let's look like we were doing on the other one. Did that with the star. What do we think? Because then at least the star has something to sit on, right? And it won't show on the back of this tree. And I might even take that. And do one off the side. There. And there. Maybe. I like it there for sure. How are we doing? I know it's getting late. A lot of people are dropping off. And that is fine. I'm almost done. And don't forget to come back on Sunday. I will post. I don't know if it'll end up happening tonight, but I will get that posted tomorrow morning because now guess who else is tired? Vicky Booten. So I might put a different color instead of a gold um, up there. I might put a different color at the top of the tree. We'll double and then see, you could have your little photo on here of your Christmas tree or whatever. You could um, have your matte in black if you don't like the red. Cause I already know I don't like that gold dot up there. It will have to be something else. But I don't mind another gold one up here and then cut the edge off. And the whole kind of charm of this page is the watercolor and that gold. And then I'll figure out the star after because I do like it and it kind, kind of ties in the silver from the bottom, right? So if you guys can see that, there we go. I've got 21 elf presents and bows built while listening and foiled some candy cane toner paper. I love it. Getting it done. Way to go. I have to work Sunday, but love but love you in the background to keep me company. I love it, Kristen. Okay, look it. I love it. So I'm going to flip the camera. Here we go. Hi. Hi. So look, can you see that? I will photograph this. I will finish it. But it's super simple. And then you could still build on the back. What I'll often do with pages like this in the album is I would mat another photo mat. Um, so it backs on to what is hanging over this one and then just put a different photo on the back, different title. But I love this. This makes me super happy. It's super simple, but the texture on the gold and then the watercolor in the background is super pretty. I will work on this layout. Love the card. I have to still glue the star down, right? Love the card. The card is probably my favorite tonight because it totally embodies, right, what I was hoping to get out of that. I will glue the star down. And for the layout, I don't hate it. I just feel like it needs a little work because I really do love the trees. I love that the trees are dimensional. So I feel like once I add a few little bits to that. It's very pretty, right? It just needs a little something with those stars or the snowflakes that I put, right? See, I am a card maker. The Smurfette sweater is on fire. 
Snurt, smurf it, doesn't it? Look, like I have a, a foam dot on my boob. Okay, but see, I had like look the little white things all over me from that. So I love, 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 love tonight. See, we got the things done. They're not completely completed, but the gist is there. And I love that I use all the scraps, like things that I had created already for the paper houses, if you weren't here at the beginning. So this is where it all started, right? With this wreath that I completed this week. And then everything that was left over paper-wise for the rainbow house, zizzes, is what we built the trees off of. So if you are just um, tuning in, that's where you can figure out how to do all the backgrounds is right from the beginning of the last couple of these live videos. And then you can make, you can make all cards if you want to. You don't have to do a layout if it's not your jam. Uh, but I'll be back on Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern time for a crafting. We're going to make a tag book. Uh, from five by seven banner pieces, I'm going to make a quick layout and I'm going to make a card. It's all going to get done, but I'm going to be here for a couple of hours. So just be ready for it. And I'm ordering in, we're ordering in so that I don't have to rush off to make supper or anything. So I love that. That was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember if you're on YouTube to thumbs up the video and subscribe if you haven't done that already. And on Facebook, just pop in, even if you are not a regular commenter and on YouTube, and just let me know where you're watching from, because I'd love to see that. And make sure that you like that video as well, and that you are following and have liked the Facebook page so you don't miss anything fun when it comes. Guess what else is going to happen on Sunday? I have another giveaway. I, I bought doubles and triples of a lot of my Tim Holtz stuff. And all of it came in here. I didn't even realize I'd ordered it all. So I am going to give a Tim Holtz Warm Wishes giveaway on uh, Sunday. I'm going to figure out how to do that. And then the other thing you need to remember, there's giveaways on my Facebook page and on Instagram, five of them. Ten, because they're on both pages and they're all individual giveaways. I will be drawing for those 10 winners on Monday. So you still have time to go and leave a comment if you haven't done that already. But other than that, have a great night. And I will see you if you're joining me on Sunday. And if not, um, on uh, Thursday in the Vicki Booten Creative Community on Facebook is where I'm going to be having my cocktail hour. So if you just feel like hanging out and chatting, um, as you're prepping for the holidays, I'd love to see you there on Facebook in my private group. Well, yeah, I guess it is. It's my private group. Um, just make sure you join and we'll get you in there and uh, we'll have some fun then too. So thanks so much, guys. This has been an awesome uh, holiday crafting session. And I hope you get a chance to do the paper houses, the paper village. And if not, even just make those backgrounds so you can make some other pretty things. And I will see you on Sunday or otherwise have a very Merry Christmas or whatever holiday you're celebrating. Um, take care of yourself and we will see you later. See you later, guys. Have a great night. And thanks, Nat, as always, for helping me out. See you later, guys.